Oh my gosh! <laughs> I just got home. I thought my car was gonna break. Windshield wipers couldn't keep up. Hail stacking on the below the wipers, causing like six inches of ice. Uh, couldn't see Jackie. Woo, as soon as I got home, it stopped. <laughs> yeah, that freak you out? <laughs> yeah, looking good in here. I moved my aloe vera out. I hope that you could survive. It's not freezing, but it's too much light compared to what they're used to. Wanna get in, Twiggy? Wanna get in, Twiggles? Come on. I mean, look at that. Some pretty good chunkers. Quarter inches. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, let's check out the garden. Now, the leaves on the rhubarb are poisonous, so that's all right, but you can see all the holes it blew through. All the seedlings will be just fine. Soil will be just fine. Love is just fine. Let's see, the bird netting. It snowed a little while ago. Just like an inch or two and it almost ripped this thing down, but hopefully it doubles as a hail protector. Oh man, the horseradish got blown to bits. Ouch. Oh, the peas are doing fine, spinach is fine. Check this out. Oh yes. Look at this. This thing's all swollen. Ah. Holy! Oh man, look at all these drippers. That's good. <laughs> That's really amazing, huh? Kicking ass over here. Beautiful arugula's almost done. Thinning it out. And just gonna keep a small layer for seeds because I got like three other spots for arugula. We got, oh man, look at it. We got, man, 150 gallons. Well, about 100 gallons. My rig up. Good. Look at this mustard, killing it. And these tomatoes are starting to pop on through. Okay. Yeah. Peas are killing in the background. The hail might come back. This is probably scary as fuck in here. When it was hailing for the plants. Not me, of course. All right, a few more weeks to the farmer's market. These are looking good. Let's go check out the other greenhouse. Look at the chickens. They were out here for this whole thing. They're fucking nuts. <laughs> They're hoping the weather clears up. Otherwise, they got the gauntlet. Now, these clouds, man. Sometimes they've rolled through and it has gotten like as dark as night. And how we doing over here, kids? Staying dry. Got the little babies in the back. Sweet. What up, Tahira? What's up, Itchy? No one's in here. They all want to be out in the moisture. All right, hold up. Here's a nice way to accent the earth. You know, that's where the water comes down. Usually, where you're going to pack it in and drive on. Made a nice little swale here. And it pushes this water right into my... Well, it goes into these scrub oaks and these pondies, but also into my little garden area. Yeah. And look, here's another one. This little natural dip. Got some irises planted right there, and I just planted an apple tree right in that little hole. Look at that. Ooh, that's free energy. That's one of the reasons I'm real hesitant to buy on flat land. Because you got free energy everywhere. Potential. Although there are like major benefits to flat land. Especially if there's water nearby. But if you just have slightly rolling hills or whatever, you can accent the difference in elevation, pitch. High pressure, low pressures. It's kind of weird how growing food and finding gold kind of a lot in common. Oh! 
Let me slip on over here. You guys are looking good. Oh, Sorrel got beat up by the hail. Strawberries, it don't matter because there's no food on there. But yeah, this arugula got tore up. Look at that. Oh, man. Well, they're just going to be for seeds, it looks like. Of course, everything else. Looking good. Wild mustard. Wild mustard flowering. Let's see, is this guy? How's this guy look? Oh, he's, oh my god, that's some big hail. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's a half, a little over half inch. Look at that one. Just walk through it. Ow! <laughs> look how big they are! My jack is protecting me, but ooh, when really it hits my hands. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> yeah, they're getting big. Man, things are changing, guys. <coughs> Make sure you got. Look at those. Oh, yeah, huh? Gotta get protection. All right, guys. Morning after. I think this net helped out a little bit for hail protection. Thank goodness the spinach are small, cause <laughs> and they would have gotten busted. I love those little babies. They look a lot better than the ones that did not have protection. Although that horseradish is pretty busted. Check out some other stuff. Of course, this place is looking good. Um, let me show you something. These walls of water, I put these on right before it was supposed to get down to like 28 or whatever and be cloudy for a week and rainy and stormy. So these ones have, these tomatoes have not been covered. Well, these guys have not been able to get warmed up by the sun and make this warm. Let me show you the distance. I mean the, the difference, sorry. Look, okay, everything's doing good. Got a bunch of tomatillos coming up. Morning glories, more kale. I think that's dill. Dill or fennel? I need to get a bunch of cilantro going. Mm -hmm. Alright, now these ones have been in these walls of water since I transplanted them probably about three weeks or whatever. And check out the difference these guys make. Oh yes. That's probably a foot and a half tall, guys. And it just likes to be warm. It warms up the soil, warms up the plant. Look at that. That looks pretty good. good too. This guy collapsed and fell on him and crushed him, but he's, he's trying to recover. Now the only bad thing about these guys they catch all the bugs, which is a bummer. Look at these mustards, killing it. Whew. All right. Well, oh, dug it. Got over 100 gallons on that rainfall. Probably about two, three inches of water on this little roof. So that's pretty good. That thing was almost empty. All right, let me show you some other plants. That stuff's looking real good, huh? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's get some lettuce this morning. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, there's all that taut soy flowering. These are arugula flowers. Mm -mm -mm -mm. A little brekkie in the morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smorgasbord, smorgasbord, smorgasbord. Chickens are loving. Good. Let's 
check this out. Bet you these guys got busted. Hey, no, look at they're okay. Well, sort of. They'll recover. Those ones are hurting. Check this out. Looks like my maple syrup tree got busted. He'll recover though. These are our little baby apples. I got a transplant. Oh man, let's see. Yeah, that guy's. Looks alright. <laughs> oh, I hope you recover, buddy. Got a bunch of potatoes in here. Look at potatoes are popping. Uh, ouch. Better. Okay. Dang. That was pretty gnarly. Let's check out this greenhouse. Almost a full tank on this guy too. Over 100 gallons. Just off of this. What is that? I don't know. 12, 15 by 12? I have no idea. Ooh. Sorrel got busted. These guys are all babies, so they should have survived. Oh man, look at my kale. <laughs> I need to get that bird netting up here. I think it helps out a little bit. We'll be having more hailstorms. Oh, my strawberries. Oh man. Look at curly leaf kale. It's pretty darn strong. But even it got busted. Oh, my ugly out, man. <laughs> Those bad. You see? Every kind of different condition. That's why I plant underneath ponderosas. They offer some protection. I still have to light in. Alright, everyone looking good in here. Mm-hmm. Oh, duck's flowering. These guys need to be watered. Okay, we're bringing down some tomatillos. Turn around to see things here soon. Pretty sure that's a male. See, here's the difference if you guys ever wonder. These are the same, I don't know, plant at the same time. Females are usually shorter immediately, males grow rapidly. So, I bet you anything that's going to be a male, I'm going to transplant them and move him elsewhere because the seeds are really good for the chickens. You know, it's a full protein. It's like this is the seeds of this guy are like beans and rice mixed together. Yeah, peas are popping. I think that's a cucumber. I had uh, them and cucumbers in here before, so hopefully some of them seeded. Yeah, these guys are looking good. Arugula is on that side. Spinach on this side. High altitude gardening, guys. Look at celery's looking good. There's a few of them in here. Okay, well, the day after. Dang, the spinach is getting too hot. It's already starting to flower. Bummer. Might just have to start moving into seeds. Teach these people how to make mustard. Mm -mm -mm. Or maybe I'll make mustard myself. Hallelujah. Oh man, that's hot. Oh God. Oh God. Ah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh my gosh. Whew. Oh my God. It's like a wasabi hot. Mmm. 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 Mm. Yeah, very good. Man, everything got shredded. All right. Cheers, kids.